Look at all the smart, lonely girls. <laughs> Little one, big one, so it's like a virgin pumpkin patch. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like an order of books, please. Could you be more specific? Could you be more beautiful? Could you be more lame? Yes. Excuse me. I'm trying to read. Don't be a sissy. You know what? Here's a firecracker. Go live a little. <laughs> Thanks. Look, I know why you're here, and I'm sorry, you're not my type. I was high school valedictorian, and you're the antithesis of that. The anti who of what? Exactly. Okay, no, come on, don't be like that, okay? Look, I really like you, and I just thought that maybe we could go out sometime, like, for coffee. And then if that went good, then we could go to a movie, and then when we really start to trust each other, you could tell my friends how we did it at the Molly Hatchet concert. Look, I don't make it with guys at concerts. I read two periodicals a week about the Dewey Decimal System, which I'm sure you've never heard of. Okay, I have heard of Dewey Decimal. It's Donald Duck's nephew. I can't believe Brooke. I mean, standing there at the library, totally resisting me. I can't believe we have a library. I know, what is it, like, invisible? No, no, you know that parking lot where we drink beer in? Okay, well, you know that wall that we lean up against? That's the library. Well, then guess who has peed in the library? You know what? For the first time in my life, I hope that there's not a secret hot girls club. Because if there is, I bet Brooke said awful things about me at their last meeting. Now, last meeting, we all decided to go brawless, and I just want to report that Operation Bazooma Bounce is driving the boys insane! Hi, my name is Brooke, and I've been a hot girl for six years. Hi, Brooke. And I just want to let everyone know that Michael Kelso asked me out, and I resisted his charms and turned him down. <gasps> but he's irresistible. That's what I thought. But it's a lie. A lie, I tell you! <gasps> Then it's official. No secret hawker will ever date Michael Kelso ever again. Yay! Okay, that's great, that's great. Now this calls for dancing bubble kiss time. <laughs> Kelso. There is no secret hot girls club. Well, of course, the president won't admit it. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if there's a club or not. Dancing bubble kiss time is just a fabulous idea. But all I know is that Brooke and I had a romantic night together at the concert. Why is she pretending like it didn't happen? Well, maybe she's embarrassed. I mean, she's used to dating really brainy guys. Yeah. Not guys who set their own pants on fire. On a dare. And I want a dollar. Kelso, if you want Brooke to like you, you know, maybe you should go to the library and show her you could be smart. Uh, I hate the library. The only good thing about it is that you can check out Playboys. I mean, they have every issue since it started. Wait, every issue? <laughs> Are you telling me that they have the one with Pamela Sue Martin, television's Nancy Drew, and a grotto straddling the world's luckiest boulder? <laughs> or, oh, they have periodicals, you say? 